FY News 10 at 6. Changes to an ordinance for short-term rentals go before the Lafayette City Council once again. There are three changes now on the table for a vote Tuesday. Now, one property owner tells News 10's Renee Allen he's still not fully on board. Short-term rental owner-operator Mike Bass says the changes the council will consider on Tuesday include doing away with the ban, but under certain circumstances. Short-term rental owner and Lafayette Tourism Lodging Association organizer Mike Bass states that earlier the council was given two short-term rental proposals. Now the council is down to one ordinance with several proposed add-ons to consider. One would... Uh ban in residential areas, but it would give you, if you ask your neighbors permission, uh, you could still do it. You'd have to ask like 12 neighbors and you'd have to ask them every year. And General Bass says he supports the amendment, which approves short-term rentals, but even that option, he believes, is loaded with restrictions. This ordinance, no matter which amendment they pass, would um, prohibit people from renting their own property uh, for less than 30 days, even if you live there, even if it's even if you live there and it's a garage apartment in your backyard. Bass believes Lafayette needs to start small and that with a pile of restrictions. It's too much. It's too far. We think it's kind of government at its worst. In fact, he says a study by the association found the economic impact of short term rentals from tourism to other things is in the millions. Seventy six and a half million dollars. So we just think it's a huge chance to throw um, this market into turmoil with no data really knowing if um, what we should be doing. Meanwhile, Bass believes that the council should wait until the new council is elected because if there's a fallout from the vote, it will be the new council who will have to deal with it. Renee Allen, California News 10.